It's a little bit hard to imagine we are here having this conversation in January talking about classes going online and being closed. So President Burwell, classes at AU are online until the end of this month, so just a few more days. Why did you decide to postpone in-person instruction and how has it gone? So what we decided uh, December 29th is actually that we would have everyone come back uh, if you chose to come back during our starting time, which actually we had a very early start, which was January 10th. Uh, in, in terms of that, we chose that performance arts, our labs would all be face to face, our libraries would be open, and that the one thing that we would do is that we chose for a period of time, a limited period, that those classes would be um, online, that the other classes other than labs and performing arts. And we did that. There were a number of elements that were a part of that decision, and we've made all of our decisions based on the health and safety of our community, achieving our mission with excellence and making sure that we think about our contributions to the broad, broader community. And here in Washington, D.C., we had the highest transmissibility, uh, the highest um, uh, in terms of uh, cases and the, our transmission rate and the number of positive cases at the time we made the decision. Also in the D.C. area, we have all three, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and Maryland, who have put in place emergency health orders during this period of time. And while our students are highly vaccinated and we do do testing, we knew that as those students come, came back, we wanted to make sure that parents and students had choices during a period where we think that many students would have it and they would have to go to isolation, that they could make the choice of being at home versus being in situations. And we know in the past semesters when these students are in hotel rooms alone, it's not a great thing uh, for their mental health. And so parents and students could make choices about how and where they want to be during that period of time. We also knew that while we didn't know the exact peak for Omicron here in D.C., what we did know that there would be is that there would be disruptions in health and disruptions in operations. Here in Washington, D.C., our bus services um, have had interruptions. We've seen in terms of we want to make sure that the student experience is about the classroom, but it's also about dining, our health facilities, uh, and all of those kinds of services. So while we chose a short-term period uh, to make sure those classes were online, uh, we're back and we'll see everybody on Monday and think it's been important and uh, gone well. And I think we are through the worst part of Omicron, certainly here in D.C. 